I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The Senate Committee on Housing and Local Government heard testimony on engrossed substitute House Bill 1236, which would create more restrictions on landlords who want to evict tenants. The bill passed the House 5444 and would have to pass the Senate in order to make it to the governor's office for a signature into state law. So the bill that you just heard about is simple. It requires that landlords provide a reason to tenants when they ask them to move out of their home. What, what is the benefit of, of telling uh, a tenant why you're uh, ending the tenancy? Um, ensures that tenancies are not just arbitrarily ended. It um, ensures consistency in the in the amount of notice um, that tenants receive, and it um, cl- and it can close um, you know inadvertent loopholes in terms of discrimination. Yes, HB twelve thirty six would ban no cause evictions. Something we are so, so dedicated to making sure happens this legislative session. All Washingtonians deserve the right to a fair process when it comes to life-altering experiences like eviction, particularly during a dual pandemic of COVID-19 and racism as a public health crisis. Um, There's a narrative uh, going around about how we have this impending tsunami of evictions that are on the cusp of happening once this moratorium lifts. Um, Evictions are a lose-lose outcome for everyone involved. Um, Actually, that's not true. Attorneys win in evictions. I've worked in the rental housing industry for 10 years and passionate about providing the best housing possible for my residents. I believe this legislation will lead to the displacement of many residents who are frustrated with the slow judicial process of removing a renter displaying dangerous and disruptive behavior. In the last year, I've experienced an increase of residents coming to me with concerns of noise, smoking, and other disruptive behaviors. In attempting to address these concerns, I've been ignored, laughed at, threatened, and told that I should just mind my own business because it's not like we can evict them right now anyway. The protections in this bill are similar to those already in existence in Oregon and California. And currently, a tenant who lives in Vancouver, Washington, can move just simply move across the border of Oregon and receive the same or similar protections as provided under this bill. There's been a lot of confusion about how this impacts leases, but I'll note that the bill's provisions are no different than what are those pertaining to leases in other states that have protections protections like that are those in this bill, which include California, Oregon, New Hampshire, and New Jersey. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News, covering the 2021 legislative session.